Happy Tuesday, y'all. Hey, Higgs. What's going on? What's going on, Dolores Simpson? Scooby Dooby Dooby Doo. Hey, Lele, baby girl. Hey, second to none. Michelle McQueen. DC, how you with me? Hey, Ethel. Ethel Patterson, what y'all eating today? Leftovers from yesterday, Ethel. Maybe don't let know nothing go to waste. What's up, Slick Vic? I don't know what time it is. Y'all better be sitting at the table. T Bone. T Bone, look, T Bone. Yeah. I realize you sent me one too, T Bone. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I got the yeah. dig and I'm like, <laughs> hey, Kenny Smith. Oh, man. We miss you, too, DC. miss you too, DC. What's up, Dim? What's up, y'all? What's happening? Hey, from Chicago, user 9776. What's going on? Happy Tuesday. Whew. From Columbus, Georgia. What's happening? Hey. Hey, uh. Yes. Lay, lay, I love your locks. I love your locks. Thank you. I told her this. Say, yeah, she say, thank you, ladies. Appreciate the love. <laughs> no, appreciate your love. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate your love. What's happening? What's happening, y'all? Hey, Miss Susan. Well, let's get into it. We're talking let's about see. social media boundaries. Ooh, we can't wait to get into it. Uh, we can't wait to get into it. What's going on, Miss Amy Wigan? We finna get into it. Hey, uh, Big B. What's up, Big B? You gotta get used to seeing that, but sometimes it throws me off. <laughs> Social media boundaries. We finna get into it. Let me serve you right now. Or you will wait for a minute. Huh? You want me serve you right now? You will wait for a minute. I can wait for you. No, I said, do you want to wait for a minute or do you want to be served now? You ready? Yes. Yeah. I'm hungry. I can eat. I can eat. Yeah, we're talking about social media boundaries. Some people do not understand what boundaries mean and when you do not take your, con your relationship into consideration and set boundaries you're leaving room open for people to come in and disrespect I don't understand why there's, a, uh, why there's an excuse for that there should be no excuse for that when a person, um, you tell the person how you feel and they disregard how you feel, they have no boundaries. So you got to ask yourself, what you doing with that individual? When they clearly telling you they're going to do what they want to do, how they want to do it. Uh, hey, babe, you, um, you're I don't know if you want to try That's, that. That's fine. What you need? Uh, some more to drink out of there. You, yeah, some more to drink. You want can to drink with this? Some more to drink. Yeah, some more. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go over to y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm trying to understand why is it hard to respect boundaries? I boundaries is set and 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 should be um. Uh, Honor, no matter where you at, whether it's social media, out there in the streets, at the church house, at the club. Am I in my dick? Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. Thank you, baby. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. Because I don't care where you at. If you set boundaries, it should be honored no matter where you at. And if an individual can't see that, then they don't need to be with you. You know, I was um, in somebody's live, and this is where I got that from. It was, it was agitating the hell out of me. <laughs> so, oh. Um, I got it. Bring your chair. Okay. I got it. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, come on. You got it? Thank okay. you. Need a pillow for the back? You want me to go get you? No, I'm good. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Um, hey, Special K. Hey, uh, Special K. Yeah, bye. Yeah, here. You know we got to Lord, thank you for this food we're about to receive in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen again. Um, 
<laughs> we were in uh, somebody else's live, and and uh, it just brought this up for me. Um, to me, when a person not understand, cause cause that person was making it like it was a couple of people in that live making it like you met me like this. Mm -hmm. My question is, when you meet a person, where's the change? Because obviously, the, your way ain't been working. So when is the, I forgot to get the hot sauce. When is the, um, when is going to be the change? I get it, I get it. Um, obviously, how you been doing it ain't been working. The, the change comes about when you're in a relationship. Right. You're not going to move the same way when you're single that you, you will when you're in a relationship. relationship. Exactly. So that's where the change come in. But the individual is making it sound like you when met you me to, like this. This so is how you got to accept me. This is how I'm going to be regardless when I'm in a relationship. Right. Right. And so if you don't set boundaries. That's right. You wasn't there. <laughs> she was? Special case. She wasn't there? I mm -hmm. didn't see her there. But, um... When you get into a relationship, this is, well, I'm going to just say when you meet one another, when you meet one another, that's when you find out the expectations of one another, not having expectations, but you know what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what you don't want. So if a person, if you hear a person saying, well, this is just how I am, and you just going to accept me for how I am, walk your ass away. They telling you right then, they not mm -hmm. the one because they ain't willing to change. Right. Yeah, but they was making it sound like as if, like, okay, you met me this way. And regardless if it's social media or not, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. You shouldn't have a problem with it. But my thing is, yeah, you move different when you're in a relationship. Everybody moves different. Or you should. Yeah. You shouldn't stay, move. you shouldn't do the same thing that you're doing when you were single. Single, yeah. Or you stay single. <laughs> we say totally agree that I feel is an issue because just... That just means you're not willing, willing to, to compromise. compromise. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, hey, Miss President, what's going on? Just talking about to show love and need the details on your sweats, please. This was actually a birthday gift mm -hmm. from one of the uh, followers and, and, and friends on here. That was actually a, a, a gift. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't purchase them ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, y'all. Whoo, man. What's up, Chante Monique? So, you know, they, they were saying, you know, I'm trying not to be, um, what, 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 guys, let me, let me see. Thank you, uh, Miss President. But wait, I did not know y'all were my stillest fan. This, these were, I always say, if you support a team and I got on the wrong jersey, send me the jersey you want me to have. And that's what. <laughs> that's what a follow did for and her that's birthday. That's what they did. They sent me want me to you sent me the jersey. They want me to wear. <laughs> so you send me a um a Seahawks. I'm gonna wear that one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What was you saying? Oh, um, I forgot. I would forgot what I, what I was saying, y'all. Um, you were saying that. Shoot. <laughs> you said. Oh wait, I know. What? Some of the guys feel mm. like um, it's always an excuse with the guys. You know, they always say, well, that's just a man. That's just what men do. That's what my thing is, is when is your woman going to be enough for you? See, because I don't care if Keisha walked by in the store out there. If you love your wife, you ain't going to see Keisha the way you see your wife. You know, um, it's not an excuse to say, because um, somebody said, one of them said. Um, they were saying the difference between it being social media me and, and being in person. In person. And my thing is, is you're going to respect whether no matter where you at. Um, they were saying in person. There's a possibility that something can go down because it's in person. But if it's on social media and they're in your DMs you're, you're, or whatever, you know, just disregard. You know, it's just the DMs no. or whatever. It's something like that, right, Special mm -hmm. thing that they were saying? And I was like, no, that's not the... It's still the same because if you're entertaining 
Mm -hmm. the individual in conversation. Cheating. That's cheating. You're still cheating if you're entertaining in conversation. Mm -hmm. Disrespect can be done anywhere, anywhere at any time. There yeah. you go. Yep. And so I just feel like the guys were making it as an excuse. Like it's supposed to be, you know, where well, they just get a free free pass because it's social media. Right. Mm, that's how that should go. Mm. But then there's some people that um, accept that. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder why your relationship don't work. The minute that you allow a person to disrespect you in your relationship, you no longer have a relationship. You say they think they can get a pass, mm -hmm. but why? It doesn't... My thing is, and I said this time and time again, if you don't want to be in a relationship, nobody's forcing you to be in one. Mm -hmm. I respect you more if you say, I prefer to be single because I can't commit or I don't mm -hmm. want to commit. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there are a lot of people, uh, women included, that, that feel just so to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That's fine. That's the thing that they would say, oh, y'all taking it too far. It's just social media. But as you see, a lot of people hook up via social media. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> so it's all about respect. Some people don't think like that. They won't say cake, cake and eat, eat, it eat it too. too. Oh, they want their cake and eat it too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like it's hard to be honest. Yeah. And which yeah. one now one? Hmm? I said the person who said that like it's hard to be the honest. Cheating always starts with the conversation. conversation. You know what? You know what? Yeah. It, it starts with the type of conversation. See, because I can have a uh, I can have a conversation with you, special K, and it don't you know mean anything. It's the it's the type of conversation. It's where it's where it starts. She don't mean that. She means it means something. It just don't mean something. <laughs> I mean no. I, I know. know. <laughs> we love you, special K. <laughs> she said, that's what I mean. All right. <laughs> See, and my thing is sometimes it depends on how long the conversation goes back and forth. So sometimes it doesn't have to be the type of conversation. Sometimes you can start to attach, attach yourself to somebody emotionally. Yeah. And that's where you'll lose them that's too. That's the emotion. Yeah, emotions too. You Especially know? when you know it's going to become emotionally, that's when the conversation needs to stop. Mm -hmm. You know. Be like, so. see, I can talk to you. When you tell somebody else you can talk, I can talk to you. Mm -hmm. You better talk to them. Then it's, it's headed in that direction. Mm -hmm. That means you finna... That's when you finish start talking about your relationship mm -hmm. with that individual. Mm -hmm. And then that individual use that as ammunition. Mm -hmm. And say, oh, I can get in there now. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I was tripping. I was tripping. I, I was getting mm -hmm. mad. I wanted to get in there and go in. But I was like, no, that ain't for me. What you say? <laughs> um, it's my time, 57, what you mean? Okay, why you real and she fake? What you mean? Uh, to me, if you're married, there's no such thing as harmless, consistent, but like, yeah. I'm putting the distance between me and mine. That's a troll move. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm. Is Mushkin in here? Mm-mm. Okay. It's just uh Lele. Lele and Special K. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. so, so is it is it okay for a guy to have a girl as a friend but she don't know her boundaries as a friend? No, it's not. Not if she don't know her boundaries. She know her boundaries. You know your boundaries. You know if a person in a relationship, you know your boundaries. You just push that limit to see if you can cross it. That's all yeah, they do. Like somebody said, watch those work wives and, and co-workers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Mom, we're sneaking. <laughs> 
You need to get some Baltimore Ravens gear. Just send it this way. <laughs> How about that? Come on, send it this way. Uh, when you're true to yourself, then you can be true to others. Exactly, Miss Rebecca. Uh, I need to watch their so-called friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the key word. You need to watch. You have to watch everybody. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is, is when you get to the point to where you got to watch uh, or watch what you say mm -hmm. or feel some type of way or feel a difference in the friendship, you just need to cut it out. Your relationship should mean enough to you to 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 respect it at all costs. Um, you know, I I love having conversations with baby. I love us just talking about everything. You know, I it, no matter who I'm talking to or talking about or talking with, she knows about it. It ain't that. It ain't. It's not. I understand people say it's leave room for privacy and all that, but when you're in a relationship. You ain't got to do that. When you together with... Mm, uh, you said, for instance, why she got to go out to clubs? It, uh, <laughs> that's something that needs to be... I mean, that, that, to me, that's that, stuff that needs to be discussed. Like, say, like say for instance, they might have been doing it prior to. Mm -hmm. But then, at the same time, you can say, well, okay, well, maybe because you go out three times a week, maybe you can go out twice a week. Mm-hmm. Um, instead of coming in at one or two o'clock when the club closed, can you come home, you know, 11 o'clock, you know, kind of compromise or mm -hmm. you go with, yeah. I don't know what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, uh, like, it. <sighs> you know, I'm just saying when I was going to the club and I had a relationship and I was going to the club, I didn't feel that it, the relationship wasn't to the point to to matter if that if, if if you get what i'm saying like um when i would meet people swinging out is where they met me let me let me get let me just say it like that when i would meet relationship out dancing is when they met me mm -hmm. so out dancing is where the relationship started it started and that's where it it uh it was grounded that's mm -hmm. where it was around mm -hmm. so nobody had expectations on you stop going to the club and i'm gonna stop going to the club mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's like like me and baby pandemic with nobody going nowhere so no i didn't meet her in the club she didn't meet me in the club so no i'm not gonna say well let's go to the club tonight i'm not doing that you know because it's not her life and i stopped because of the, pan the, the pandemic and I got used to not being out. Mm -hmm. you, you, get, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, there's no need to do it unless we agree to go together. That's what I'm saying that that person can compromise. You're right. She mm -hmm. don't need to go. Somebody said if she didn't need to go. She wanted to. Mm -hmm. I get that. But my thing is maybe y'all can compromise on um, when she go. And like, like I said, instead of you staying to the club close, can you come home? You know? <laughs> You know, I, I, mean, I was home by 11.30. <laughs> we both should know where we stand. Yeah. Um, and again, my situation, I asked the question again. When does the change, when does the change become? Because if it ain't been working out for you the way you've been doing it, when will it change to say, okay, let me do it another way? You know, you can't meet somebody in the club and continue going to the club and think that your, your relationship going to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's going to always be somebody to try you, you know, unless you're that individual that you know where you stand. You know, I can't, I ain't saying that you can't have a relationship and go to the club at the same time. Because you can when you, when you know you and your partner trust you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it all, it's, it's all based off you and how you feel. Some of you the argument, you met me in a club, yeah, but mm -hmm. you were single then and you you can't and you can't be a gift. Yeah. <laughs> um so see, I mean I get that part. You met me in a club, mm -hmm. you know, or you met me, you know, stripping or whatever, so I'm gonna continue to whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Um 
So like if I would if I would end up meeting you in the club, mm -hmm. and you know we ended up getting you know mm -hmm. starting off a relationship, I would tell you how you how you feel how I feel, and then it's but I don't me. expect you to stop. I'm just letting you know how I feel in order for you to deal with me. You don't have to. Right. Right. You don't have to do and because what I'm and because I want to deal with you, I'm willing to make changes so that I can be with you. But see, right. people have to want to do that. You know, uh, it's not telling the person to change themselves. All I'm saying is, if the person that matters to you, you love that person, you want to be with that person, you got to pick. Either you want the person or you want the club. I mean, and to me, you're saying you're saying what's more important to you. You rather hang out in the streets. Yeah. If it's got to be an argument about you going out, then you know that's you what you really that. want, and that's because that's what you really want. Yeah. Yeah, you can have that. You mm -hmm. can have it. Nobody's saying you can't have it. You just can't have that in me. Mm -hmm. And that's just yeah. something that I stand firm on. And so you can't be mad at me because I'm not tolerating that. Right. Right. So. Again, we're not saying you should change who you are. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is if it didn't work for you before, it's something that you need to change within you. Mm -hmm. Don't be your same self and then expect somebody to come in and accept who you've been because who you've been, they might can't deal with that. The tweet you off the feet. <laughs> yeah. You got you to gotta say, okay, at some point, when do you say enough is enough? Okay. At some point, you, what is it that's in the club? That you can't get at home. You know? Um, what did Scooby say? Scooby? Scooby. I you have to be honest with each other about what you, you want, want to do get and get out of the relationship. relationship. Yeah. yeah. And that's when the boundaries you. And, and see, y'all, we're not saying when you get into a relationship, okay, so what's your boundaries? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're saying have the conversation mm -hmm. before committing to a relationship. And then you commit to one another, and mm -hmm. then you find out you don't like what that person do, that person don't like what you do, mm -hmm. and then you didn't waste a whole lot of time, you know, wasting each other's time, and then you back out there again. Just discuss what it is that you, what you, you already know what you don't want. Mm -hmm. So discuss what you do want, and see if that individual can oblige you. Hey Red. hey, Red. And see if that person can oblige you. If not, don't waste that person's time. Right. If you gotta keep it real, if you know if you know clubbing is what but you, you want, want, be honest, honest about, about it. it. Right. Yeah. Right. But you know, then people have that argument. But then now I can't have you. But it's okay. <laughs> I mean it's okay. You made your choice. It's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Apparently it was not meant to be. And the thing is with her is you know, I told her about my dancing. And that I used to dance Monday through damn now Sunday. She never said I couldn't go. It's I chose I chose I wanted something different. You know? And some people always say, Well, she changed you. No, she didn't change me. It's I decided to change myself because what was happening? What what was going on wasn't working for me. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. That so was working for you in the aspect of your anxiety. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. as as yeah, it was yeah. 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 You know, cause you gotta understand I, I, people didn't hang out with me. You know, only time I saw people only time I saw individuals that hang outside, you know, if it was a few in, uh, in, it was a few in, in between. But to just to say I had a clique to hang out with on an everyday basis, I didn't. I only saw people on the days that we swung out. Mm. You know, they don't want to just hang out. You know, people, you know, they don't want because they, I was gay, you know, and they don't want that title. You know, so they wouldn't hang with me. So the only time I would see them is in the club. So then when I'm dealing with my depression and anxiety and all that other stuff, I, I had to talk to people that I dance with. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> mm hmm. But yeah, that 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 one just got me. You know, if y'all gotta, because I think the conversation was, what what what, what was it? Uh, if I gotta get off of social media. Oh yeah, if I gotta get off of social media to to uh, for the relationship to work, then I they they wasn't willing to right. do that. 
Right. Because they're like, that's where you met me, you know, or what have you. Um, so a lot of people's not willing to get off of social media to maintain the relationship, relationship. or for the relationship to work. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do y'all think about that? I, I mean, just, it, I just it, feel like that just lets people know where you are and that to me that you like. Okay. All attention ain't good attention. Mm-hmm. That's why you always tell people I don't like a lot of attention. I don't like I don't like to draw attention to myself. So I don't do things to draw attention mm-hmm. to myself purposely. But and I only like it. I only like the attention when I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Except um, because you think they're going to meet someone else. My question is, what's so important to you on social media over your, your relationship? relationship? Exactly. Attention. <laughs> That's um, what I'm saying because they're getting that attention in the DMs. They're getting that attention, mm-hmm. you know, unsolicited attention. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was unsolicited or not, but you know, <laughs> we're just getting that the you know the DMs. And uh, the messages in the DMs, and that's what they like. They like to interact and respond until they get called out on it, and then it's different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't, uh, when we was in the live, didn't they say something about that? I thought one of the gentlemen had said something about, well, my, you know, she can have my, uh, Right. I forgot. <laughs> I thought they said something about you know she can have my my password, or they was having a fit about having the password to go in and look at the DMs or whatever access to look at the DMs. Didn't they say something about that or no? I probably missed that part. Mm. Um, that excessive need for attention from everyone is a sign of the, other the things, things missing within. within. Yeah, yeah. Um. That's it. That means they are not happy with whatever at home. Hmm. Well. Yeah, that's one thing. Is just just have the conversation. Just talk about it. You know. Just have the conversation. If you're not happy, then sit down and talk about what's not make what's what's not making you happy. Yeah. And and see if it's a realistic expectation or re- realistic for that person to meet. If not, then. When I got married, there was really no social media. It developed further along into our marriage. Mm. Mm. Woo! What's more about <laughs> electronics are all alive. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. I guess there's just a thing of it can be just too much sometimes. You know, where you... I, th- I think to... what, what bothered me was... It was making it like they were giving an ultimatum, and I don't think that they were giving an ultimatum. I they they was it just wasn't understanding that they took it as that. Yeah, and and not and they wasn't thinking it as you know what what's what why not compromise? It's not changing the person. You're not changing the individual. You excuse me. You're telling the person how you feel, and we're not saying change. It's just let up a little bit, you know. Um, that individual is not telling you what to do, but if you're telling that individual that social media, if if one is telling you social media is a bother, and the other is telling you where well, if it's a bother, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change where because I, I was doing social media and I'm not this this and this. Well, you already know right there that relationship not gonna work. Mm-hmm. So why are you pressing it? You know, why are you stressing and trying to make it work? That person right then is telling you. So now you're trying to force something and you're doing this here. You know? <laughs> um, what was the other one? Um, uh, he said, um, mm, because he was making it like, to me it was all excuses. It was making it sound like because, especially since you're your man, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's, it, it, you know, come on, just you know, it's just social media, you know, <laughs> kind of thing that if you know you're you're nagging, you know, if you speak up about how you feel, 
Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the whole thing about sometimes I see, you know, that if you speak up about how you feel, mm-hmm. then it's, it's, you know, you're nagging. You know, just say basically they want you to go along with the program. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing nothing, supposedly, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. Just or they're having a conversation, but you don't. Long as you don't know they're having a conversation. My thing is okay. And nip this in the bud for for the guys. If you're having a conversation, if you got somebody, you're in a relationship, and you got somebody. If your significant other can't have, can't be in that conversation, then you're emotionally cheating. Or you don't know about the conversation. You're cheating. You know, you can't say it's just a DM. You can't say that. that that's just calling it for what it is. You like the attention and you want your significant other to just let you have that attention regardless on how your significant other feel. That's harmless flirting. <laughs> oh, that, that harmless flirt that's mm-hmm. what they call harmless mm-hmm. flirting somebody did say that the other day mm-hmm. didn't they yeah, yeah and it's nothing harmless and oh yeah 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 because then um, when they were talking about it i was telling i was telling baby i said see that's what i'm talking about right there mm-hmm. because it's harmless to him but to the female who they're talking to mm-hmm. she not playing <laughs> you see what i'm saying when she's saying you look good and all that kind of stuff she's not playing so yeah. you're you're playing with somebody else's emotions, and so you're kind of responsible for that because you're you're um yeah harmless would be harmful to you yeah because yeah. then you don't know if that person's gonna flip when you when they when you decide that you want to uh, you know say no mm-hmm. once you say no then they flip mm-hmm. then they then kept all these receipts mm-hmm. gonna kindly you know display it on social media since yep. you love it so much. And then, <laughs> then, then, you then you wonder. Then you wonder why everybody in your business, right? <laughs> <laughs> like some of us are like a couple we know. <laughs> we were like, God damn. <laughs> oh it, man, it's crazy. But they 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 call it harmless, and there's nothing harmless about it. My my thing is is if your significant other can't see what that that person is saying to you or respond to that individual. It's not a conversation that need to be had. And why are people in your DMs rather than texting you and calling you? Why they in your DMs? You see what I'm saying? DM, DMs, DMs is just what it is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, so originally when DMs were, I won't say set up or whatever they want to call it, mm-hmm. it was to actually hook up with somebody. That's what I do. That's what I thought it was. I've seen men calling married women their TikTok wife and they go along with it. Yeah. Really? That, that shit is disrespectful. Wow. But the men don't think it's disrespectful. They think it's harmless flirting. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Wow. So this, this is why I say, you know, <laughs> but people call it insecurity. People call it controlling. People call it, you know, you you can't do nothing. And I'm just say this: don't do anything that's gonna cause question and and interference in your relationship. I don't never put myself in a situation to where I have to be questioned about whatever it is I do. It's not control. It's just boundaries and respect for me. That's 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 all it is. So you can call me what you want to call me, but I ain't got no problem in my relationship. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no damn problem. You see, I feel it's just as much that married woman allowing and that disrespect. disrespect right? yeah. And they think it's cute. <laughs> he don't mean that. She, my husband, he, he he ain't got nothing to worry about. It's the whole thing, though. It's still disrespectful. Yeah. It's still disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that little live was, that little live there was agitating the hell out of me. <laughs> that was, wasn't that cussing? Yeah. <laughs> Like he not see the, he a man. That's all I could say. <laughs> he a man. That's why he ain't gonna never. Ask. Nah, I was going on. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, one bright eye girl. Right, it is still just space. Yeah, yes. you gotta. Yeah. You just know what you want. And that's just the beginning of it. See, yeah. that's the thing. That's just the beginning of it. Next thing you know, you know it's, gonna say, it's gonna say something else, and then it's gonna be in the DMs, and. You'll be yeah. wondering how in the hell you got there and you off in the hotel room waiting <laughs> on somebody to show up. <laughs> uh, if you feel something you're doing is questionable, don't do it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I always say when in doubt, 
don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. You know, because it's too easy. Then then okay, like like the uh the conversation where he was asked the question and he didn't say no. And she got him. Oh yeah, yeah, she yeah. She got him, yeah, she yeah, got yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She said, but you still didn't say no. <laughs> you know, and then he say, Well, I didn't say yeah either, but you didn't say no. Right. <laughs> Oh, he didn't man. say no. And I think it had to do with emotional. Uh, he, he mm. said he said he was un, uh, uh, unavailable emotionally. Emo yeah, emotionally unavailable. So he didn't tell people that he was in a relationship. What he would say was, "I'm unavailable emotionally." So you're not saying that you're in a relationship, though. Yeah. You're misleading. Right. You either need to say you're in a relationship or you're not. <laughs> but all he said was he would tell, you know, women, I'm. Uh, emotionally unavail unavailable. unavailable emotionally right so right. so so he he available physically right 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 <laughs> <laughs> what's up tasha hey he, tasha he 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 available physically just right. not emotionally, emotionally. <laughs> you better read between between them lines they telling you he can sleep with you mm -hmm. but he ain't gonna respect you and be with you okay <laughs> that's all you're gonna be Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> man, that was, that was a good one though. Um, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Y'all, we finna play last couple standing. We finna play last couple standing. Thank you for dinner, baby. You hear me? Yes. Yes. Hey. He was half in and half out. Yes. <laughs> we don't get that, but we just say. Can't stay, can't stay all night. Yeah, disrespectful all the way around. Man. So. I don't know how these are mixed up. Are you just in here any kind of way? I ain't messed with them. I guess, yeah, these are questions, not the questions we did yesterday. This is the last couple of standing. Last couple standing. What's it doing? Picking them up? <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Oh, Lord. Hi, Munchkin. I just asked if you was in here. Hey, CeeLo Brown, what's going on? All right. Let's Mr. See. Williams, what's up, Mr. Hey, Williams? Mr. Williams. Right, right. Here we go. Okay, so do you tell your partner that they are fat or that they need to go to the gym? Which one would you which one would you do? Tell your partner that they're fat or that they need to go to the gym. I would say baby you getting a little thick there. <laughs> Woo! Oh man. <laughs> Don't you stop <laughs> Let's, right, Scooby. I was gonna say let's, not you need to go to the gym. I would have said I would have said let's work out. Let's um, go to the gym. You know why not just be honest? Be be because then you not you don't want to body shame somebody and feeling bad. So you you can't tell somebody else they need to work out and you're not doing the same thing. She said, so how about need, we do it together? She said we need to slow down on the eating. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he better not tell me either. <laughs> I would say I'm with, I'm with the individual who said let's go to the gym. I yeah. would say let, let's work out together because um, right. you know, yeah. Let me do. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. Are you better at lying or omitting details? Be honest. Are you better at lying or omitting details? Now this I got to see. Hey, pretty smile. Hey, pretty smile. I'm trying to see. So are you better at lying? Omitting. Omitting. Okay. Pushing away from the table. <laughs> Neither lying. <laughs> lying de omitting details. What? Omitting details. Why y'all know y'all lying? <laughs> 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 oh man. Okay. Uh, what does your partner do around their family and friends that annoys you? What does your partner do around their family and friends that annoys you? 
Do I do anything? Um, do I do anything that that annoy you? <laughs> do I do anything but yes. what I do? Tell, tell the people what I do, man. She goes to the bathroom and get on and, and, and get on her walkie talkie and tell me that so that everybody can hear that she's on the toilet. <laughs> I be wanting people to know act where I'm proper. at. Act proper. That annoys you. That annoys you. I be wanting people to know where I'm at Burp. and what I'm doing. I want to be a part of the conversation. Burp is extra long. Then spend all his money or give it to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell, Tell our, our business. business. <laughs> okay. Tell, Tell jokes, jokes about, about me and the kids. kids. <laughs> Tell a little bit Use you as a stand-up. Okay. What do I do? Why what not family friends? Uh-huh. What do I do? That, that annoys you. What do I do? Sometimes, if you don't like word, if you don't like the surroundings, you get real quiet. You get quiet and you and you get to your phone like this here. But when you don't be on your phone and you and you having conversation amongst the table, then you enjoying yourself. But it <laughs> agitates the hell of me. I know she don't, she don't like that. When she over there and she doing this, I said, okay, she don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if the conversation don't have anything to do with me, if I can't, you know, I hate somebody to insert themselves in a conversation and they really don't know anything about that. Like, like say you and, mm. and D or somebody, you mm. know, could be talking about something. I have nothing that nothing to do with or know anything about so i'm not going to include myself in the conversation right. but but with you it's not it's not you not including yourself it's your whole demeanor <laughs> i can just tell when you want to be somewhere and when you don't it's probably time like like like, might, like, like we had fun long. like we had fun this weekend you wanted to be there as opposed to when we went in the other time uh. <laughs> all right let's see uh Ooh, yeah. Okay. Your future husband doesn't like your best friend of 20 years and says she has to go. Do you drop your friend or lose a husband? <laughs> hey, hey, let me read it again. Your future, listen, your future <laughs> husband doesn't like your best friend of 20 years and says she has to go. Do you drop your friend or lose your husband? <laughs> when our brown girl said. <laughs> when, when brown girl I had an answer that one. <laughs> I mean, first of all, what did she do to you? What did my friend do to you? <laughs> I'm a loser the husband. Now, DC now, the Bible say clean. Said, drop the future. The Bible say clean. Clean to your husband. Pretty smile said, why ninja? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard one. But bye, friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, first, I just want to know. What did my friend do to you? I do. I want to know. Because you, you're not going to go off it just because you say that. I right, still want to know what, what did like, but, but look at it this way. What, what your friend did to the husband may not be as big to you i know but i'm still asking you i just you just can't come up to me and say dump your friend right what did she do to you right 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 i'm not saying that i'm going to be okay either way but mm -hmm. i need you to tell me what did she do to you for you to say mm -hmm. uh most say need more information yes <laughs> all right yeah right why you don't like her put that over there all right because right, if she did something that bad, I need to check my friend about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, if given the choice between never hearing your partner speak again or never hearing music again, which would you choose? That means no Charlie Wilson. <laughs> what? That means no, that means no, no, no Key Sweat for you. That means no. I don't give a damn. I love my baby. I can hear you talk all day long. Stop lying. Stop lying. The lies you tell. <laughs> you should have omitted some lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What'd you say, partner? <laughs> Did you say partner? Oh, <laughs> that's a long time friendship uh, to end over a situation 
They may not last you want to stop that special K. You ain't giving your future husband a, a, a chance if that's how you think it. <laughs> it's like you you make it seem like it's doomed from the start. <laughs> um I just wanna know what did she do to you, you know, that's all. <laughs> this is y'all. Pick you gotta pick one. You can't say neither. Okay. Okay, you gotta pick one. Y'all, we gotta pick one. Okay. You gotta pick Go. one. Dirty sheets or dirty dishes? Hmm. I say dirty dishes. <laughs> right, I know I can't sleep on dirty sheets, but I say dirty, dirty dishes, dishes would bother me too. Yeah, but, but I say yeah. dirty dishes. Shit. Okay, you wake up with the Hong Kong itch. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> okay. What's your least favorite position? Your boing boing man. <laughs> What's your least favorite position? Throw the dishes away. <laughs> I'm trying to see some. <laughs> I'm trying to see some. We're gonna say plastic forks and plates. What's your least favorite position? <laughs> <laughs> Why you ain't got nothing to say now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read missionary. Missionary. Yeah. Your I, least favorite. I, I, I'm, I'm with you. See, see, but see, okay. Brown. I'm with you. She said it back. <laughs> Number two. No. Barbara said surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. She, oh, look, look at your friend. What'd she say? It went up too fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Special K. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay, I use that. Okay. Okay, name something you said in an argument that you wish you could take back. Name something you said in an argument that you wish that you could take back. Shut up. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't never said it. I know, but I don't, I don't like the word shut up. Ah. <clears throat> Calling a man a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man, laugh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody knows was huge. <laughs> Get out. Let me think nothing. <laughs> uh, <sighs> wish I had never met you. The wow. kids are not yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nothing I said what I said. <laughs> uh. The kids are not yours. That's funny. Because <laughs> you uh. can't come back from... <laughs> Wow, I wish uh, he was done and really, and he really got sick. Wow. Uh, name calling, I can't get with, get, what did you say, can get real low? Yeah. 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 The baby <laughs> ain't yours. Yeah. F you. Wow. Wow. Wanted my ex back. Wow. Call, call him someone else's name. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. What about you, babe? What? What did you say? Wait, I gotta find a question. <laughs> there ain't something you said in an argument that you wish you could take back. Uh, <clears throat> mm, I, that, that's the thing. I don't argue. I don't, I don't argue. Mmm. I ain't, I got nothing. Gotcha. What's the most irritating thing the other couple, oh no, that's what I had to do with couples. Oh, okay. Would you be mad if you found out your partner had sex with their boss to ribbon? What? Because it's like, yeah, you would be. So would you find out it, would you be mad if you found out your partner had sex with their boss to get the job they have now? Yeah. Wait, it didn't have nothing to do with you. This is your partner. Yeah, but the partner now, but when they did it, they may not have been. The job that they have now. Wait, right, they may not have been. Like, like say I slept with my boss before I met you. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? To get the job that I got right now. Yeah. I didn't say I wasn't with you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So right. would you be upset about something that happened before you? <laughs> that didn't happen though, y'all. <laughs> Look, I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and no depends on when it happened. Well, I was looking at it. I was I was reading it as from the yeah, saying. Yeah, if you if you no, 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 but what I'm saying is there the way that they're saying it is I was reading it as if in the now, like say for instance. Um, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get that you saying. were together with that person, but never mind. So it depends on what they look like. Nah, this, <laughs> this for y'all. Because I, I hate this part. I, I promise you I hate it. If, if anything she annoys me, it's this part right here. Okay. Would you rather wait for your woman to pick the restaurant or pick her clothes? <laughs> which one? Would I? Which would you rather wait for? Your woman to pick the restaurant or pick? She gonna say restaurant. Hey, I would really gonna say clothes. You no, know, because you hate for me to wait. Wait for me to pick the clothes because I take all I day. Hate it. Yeah, that's what I said. Would you rather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rather for the. I rather you pick the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, that's me. Oh. Wait for her to pick, pick the, the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My husband would probably say clothes. Okay. Tell us something that your partner has lied about, but they don't know that you know the truth. Can you imagine really being in a room full of couples and saying this and just putting them on front street? <laughs> You the one who the question. <laughs> Somebody said cheating. Wow. Oh, and they don't know that you know? Wow. It wouldn't be a secret if Somebody I... Somebody said cheating. It's bachelor party. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Um, they say cheating, no her address, being at work, you know, and being at work and you know they called off. Damn. Wow. Uh, they got off work and seen the person. Damn. Wow. Damn. Okay. <laughs> and y'all still ain't told it? <laughs> All right, would you rather your partner cook dinner or make reservations? I say, I say cook dinner. My baby can cook. Ooh, my baby can cook. <laughs> I'm looking over there. Yeah, my baby can cook. Would you rather your partner cook dinner or make reservation? Oh, the ones who say make reservation, your partner probably can't cook, huh? Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like to cook. <laughs> yeah. We not even read that one because we already know the answer to that one. <laughs> Yeah. What does your partner repeatedly spends money on that gets on your nerves? Amazon. 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 Amazon get more time than anything. Amazon. Amazon. Oh. You said baby can cook, just give him a break. Okay. <laughs> Purses. <laughs> oh, baby man. says Amazon would mean shoes, hats. Legos, damn. This gonna be a good one, y'all. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let baby do this last one. Hold on, let me do this one. Uh which one of you has to be right? <laughs> it used to be me. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm like this. I I I would I would like to I'm go I would like to be right with facts. Let me say that. I like to be right with facts. With facts, y'all. Y'all said me, my husband. <laughs> me, she said I me, need I need to be, to be right. right. Lisa, I don't want to forget the date again. It, you say it's Saturday. Is this Saturday? Are you gonna work? You gonna um uh send some pictures? Uh, make a do a video and all that stuff. Y'all, this this gonna be a good one. This next one. <laughs> if sex were a job, who's getting the raise and who's getting fired? If sex was a job. If sex was a job, who's getting the raise and who's getting fired? 
They all post pictures and videos. Okay. Me and she's getting fired. <laughs> I'm bad. Yeah. I'm still his fan too. I got three promotions. <laughs> <laughs> you like rage over here. <laughs> I'm in my shirt fired. I'm getting a raise and with a big, big bonus. bonus. <laughs> wow. I'm getting a raise. Okay. Wow. You both getting a raise. Bobby said I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> Germany. Oh man. Um I guess I, with us, and not that anybody's getting fired. Nobody's getting fired over here, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't wanna have to get explicit about it, but nobody's getting fired. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting fired. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's all we got. You say last one still standing? Yeah, yeah. And I do mean standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna go through all of them like we did uh, uh, last night, but who anyway. got laid off? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So what? What y'all? What y'all got? What questions y'all have before we get out of here? What questions y'all have? Who got questions? No, no, I thought I had seen that. Oh, if, you okay. want, if you want here, but it wasn't. Uh, what questions y'all got? Let's see what y'all got. What y'all got? I see anybody say anything? We appreciate y'all coming in. Y'all, y'all got the surprise redoing Friday, huh? With uh, Mrs. Uh, TM, TMM1 and her husband, Ron Moore, is going to be on here um, Friday. Last couple standing. Going to be talking about, you know, biracial relationship, <coughs> juggling kids, working, all that good stuff. So, um, we can't wait to get them in here and, and have. Uh, you know, good conversation and laughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get in here and have good conversation yeah, make sure and laughter. Y'all tune in um, Friday. You know, we really we don't um, interview people. Yeah. You know, we don't make it a habit of interviewing people. We want it to be of, you know, to have some um, some substance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, not to just have somebody on, but yeah. to actually have an intellectual conversation. Right. And when we came up with this, I was telling baby, because I know, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with TMM, but if not, y'all need to go and follow. and check, follow and check her out. A yeah. lot of her content um, yeah. will have you cracking up um, yeah. just about motherhood and the husband and her career. Yeah. And, and so we wanted to have her on just to talk about those things. And um, yeah. So not get into people business and yeah. stuff like that. Y'all, and look at it. Y'all don't get on y'all. Oh, uh, y'all don't get here and behave and act like y'all got some damn sense. Y'all don't get here. It will be on here. TikTok. Somebody asked YouTube on yeah. TikTok. It will be on TikTok because it's Friday. Yeah. We do uh, YouTube on Saturday. So yeah. it'll be on TikTok. Y'all so get in here and act thing. like y'all got some sense. How yeah. do y'all keep the relationship fun? Um... Being spontaneous as far as like, you know, we still, uh, you know, we date, they, they we date each other. Um, just thoughtful and it's always thoughtful stuff, you know, that we do for each other. It, it's stuff that it don't cost anything. It's just something that's, you know, thoughtful that mm -hmm. we do for each other. We always consider each, each other. other. Yeah. Whatever we do, we always consider each other. Yeah. So yeah. it could be something as simple as. If I go to if I go to the corner store and get you something, if I get me something to drink, I always bring her back something. Either it's it's is it's, it's gonna be candy, chips, it's something. If I get me something, if I go to Target and I get me something, I bring her back something because mm -hmm. I always consider her. So we always just consider each other. Yeah. Uh, question: Should you listen to female intuition without evidence of cheating? I will say again, Keisha. If a person puts you in a situation to to make you feel different about the relationship, then it's most likely so. Because uh, I say all the time, you shouldn't, a uh, person that respect and love you shouldn't put you in a situation to have mm -hmm. to be questioned. Mm -hmm. Or, or... Hey, Shanae, 
Hey, Shanae. <laughs> or would you say, too, that if they put you in a position to where you're starting to question stuff, mm -hmm. do you ask? I mean, uh, instead of just don't want to just assume. You, you ask, so, but if it turns into an argument, then well, you know. Well, I mean, we're not talking about just excluding that. I'm just saying. No, I'm saying when, when, when you ask a person a, a question and they get. person that a question and they get you know defensive, defensive right, right you know yeah you, you know yeah uh when you feel something is wrong it usually is <clears throat> yeah uh somebody asked what we're doing for uh the holidays really not sure just yet really not sure <clears throat> um i said that um this year if i wasn't being invited to stay or we wasn't invited to to stay we wasn't going anywhere because you got to understand when you travel out of town, some, you know, some um, have the money to uh, buy rooms and all, spend four, five hundred dollars on room and stuff like that. But if you have family members and you know you've been raised in the house with these people and they don't think enough to uh, ask you if you want to stay, then no, uh, I can do better just staying in my own damn house. So, um... What you say? What's the question? Uh, okay. About what no, I'm talking about? No, well, Special K when she was answering. Yes, yes, everyone. You know when you're ready. It's been three years for me. Uh, mm. what, what, what was the question? Mm. Uh, what was the question? I, we didn't see the question, yeah? Uh, Special K, we, we didn't see the question. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, um, yeah, I'm at that age now, and, and, um, and I'm at mm -hmm. that age and time in my life that what I um, dealt with in the past, I'm just not there no more. You know, mm -hmm. when a person show you how they feel about you, believe them. Um, don't force yourself in situations that people don't want you there. Um, you say, how do you feel about moving on after death of a spouse? And a baby can ask that question. Uh, oh, that was the question? Yeah. Um... Yeah, she said, what do you consider, uh, what do y'all consider moving on too fast, fast after, after death? After there, there is, there really isn't a time frame. I mean, it's different for everybody. I've been there. Yeah. Um, it's different for everyone. Yeah. Nobody can tell you what's too soon or too long. Yeah. Only, only, it's only you. Yeah. Only you can make that decision because my thing is allow yourself to go through the process mm -hmm. of mourning. Allow yourself that. Once you feel you're ready to move forward, then mm -hmm. only you will know. Yeah. And that's only your decision. It's not family. It's not his family or her family or whatever. It's it's you. So. Yeah. You say, Swain, please repeat what you said about... What, what you saying, Gigi? About what? Um, about something relationship. I don't know. That's mm -hmm. what I was asking. I'll oh. repeat it. So, uh, yeah, it, there's no time limit on grieving. Um, don't let nobody force you um, to, don't let anybody force you into um, not grieving. You're gonna mm -hmm. always grieve. And then don't let nobody force you into feeling guilty, guilty. Because, because you, you grieve forward. Yeah, yeah. Because my thing is, my dad had passed away. My bonus mom, she's, uh, you know, currently now dating mm -hmm. someone, but the thing about it is, that's not for me to say. Yeah. Because my dad want to see her happy. So I, me and baby, we feel like, okay, good for you, you know? Can't wait to meet him. You say, if you question it, do what? Uh, uh, all I'm saying is, if you're in a relationship that a person gives you um, a question, make you question their loyalty or the relationship if they if they if they're cheating then you know what to do don't don't let no don't put yourself in a situation to have to be questioned you know um that's just how i do they say how do you financially prepare to separate from spouse i guess everybody's different some some people don't even think about that they don't i mean they don't look at that they're just like they just want to get out you know what I'm saying? They they want to move around. Um, some people have a little nest egg aside. Some people can't afford that. So it's all 
different for other people. If you mm -hmm. got a support system behind you, mm -hmm. then that makes it even better. So I mm -hmm. guess it depends on if you have a support system. Yeah. Um, but I'm looking at, let me tell you this. Don't take more than what you put in. Don't don't get yourself in a situation and go take that person's all that person's money. Then you wondering why they come looking for you. Hmm. Don't take what ain't yours. If you ain't make it and you ain't put it in the bank, don't take. Don't take it just to be mean. Yeah. Cause that karma is something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so you both seem like you have a good relationship. Yeah. Well, now. Yeah, how we do it? Here we go. Mwah! Yeah, that's how we do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, the thing is, is when you get tired of going through the same thing you've been doing and nothing has changed, you have to save it in yourself. You got to stop blaming the other person and hold yourself accountable. What is it that I am doing? Stop looking for people to make you happy and be happy within. Stop looking for joy in people and find joy within. And uh, what's up? I was like that. I had to buckle down and come to realize she no longer wants to be you held on. That's to. what I'm talking about, Blazing D. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Blazing D? <laughs> <laughs> but take care of your kids, though. But that's what I always say too, like you said, you know, if it's not working, if you've been doing something, you've been doing something consistently, yeah. but it hasn't been working for you in relationships, you've been doing the same thing and you've been yeah. in relationship after relationship after relationship. Then it's you. Then you need to take a step back and say, okay, well, who's the, what's the common denominator in this issue? Mm -hmm. It's me. Yeah. What do, what am I doing or not doing that's causing the problem? Then you just need to change. It's okay to change. He said, so you got half family to ask me to come get them, not one, but but three hotel rooms so they can come back. Lead them people where they at. Lead them people where they at. Did you invite them or they invite <laughs> themselves? Yeah, lead them people where they at. <laughs> oh, Tell man. them you can FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I'm not in a relationship. I constantly review. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you have to evaluate yourself. Yeah, you mm -hmm. and, you know, you got to be comfortable with being by yourself. It was hard for me at first. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell nobody that it wasn't hard. It was. It was hard for me to be by myself. And I had to learn that if I cannot be by myself, then can nobody else be with me? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I had to, to, to buckle down and, and, and do it. You know, and, and just don't deal with nobody. I'm telling you, this pandemic brought out a lot of stuff in me I didn't even know I had. I didn't know. I knew I had strength and endurance, but I didn't know I had this type of strength and endurance. <laughs> so um, it was the, the it was the pandemic that woke me up. And people showed me how they felt about me by the way that they treated me when the pandemic came. You know, when people didn't call to see how I was doing, didn't call to see, check up on me, didn't call, you know, and then when you go around, they, they like this shit, they think you going, you got some shit. All of a sudden, you got, you got some, you know, already, you know, get, get, you know, was already being rejected because of my lifestyle. But then when the pandemic came, then you act like I got something. Oh, no. Nah. I had to be okay with being by myself. So. That I had to be okay with being by myself. And, you know, I am blessed that my baby is in my life. My baby gave me the opportunity to be myself and accept me for how I was and where I was and standing at that moment when she met me. And mm -hmm. and what, what I love about her is that we grew together. Mm -hmm. She met me where I was. You know, she didn't make me feel beneath her. You know, she just, it kind of basically just grabbed my hand and just, you know, all right, come on here, let's go. You know, um, I, I, I just, I love it. And that's why I'm so protective of her, you know. Um, I am, that's, 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 oh man. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't even, I just, that's all I got. They said, got. so who was the first one that asked the other one out? Ah! 
sure. I, I, look, I think I, look, I think I was ready after I didn't look at her for a whole two hours. I think I was ready. I think I was ready. <laughs> Scotty, we were, uh, these were sent to us, Scotty. Yeah, for my birthday. Because yeah. he was like, I didn't know y'all would steal his friend. He said, I hate to be off, off subject, but <laughs> no, this is a... Um, these, these were sent to us, so mm-hmm. we always represent. When people send them to us, we represent. Yeah. So what I, what I love about my babe is that she things that I don't understand. <laughs> she do not mind. She do not mind no matter how long it takes. Even if she got to keep repeating herself, she said the same exact way every each and every time until I get it. I love her patience with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why you laughing? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because I mean, uh, cut. Let me, y'all. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> I'm being all emotional over here. Look, I'm gonna let her know. I Look. feel everyone had something at the beginning of it too. Don't feel bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> yeah, had something at the beginning of it too. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you laughing? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, right. yeah, yeah. Right. I don't, I don't feel like. Well, let me see. Because sometimes, oh, I'm thinking. I was thinking vice versa of how you repeat stuff to me, and you mm-hmm. think I get tired of hearing it, but I don't. So yeah. I was thinking the total opposite. So what you mean? Just like when you're you're explaining certain things that have happened. Remember, sometimes you explain like certain stories, and you yeah. say, "I know this is like the fourth time I've told you. I'm sorry." And I'll be like, "No," because each time you tell me, it's either you 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 know I forget something, you might forget something, or something yeah like I that I didn't hear the first time. Yeah. So. Okay. Woo! I thought that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I man. Stand strong with each other. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just, just went getting all mushy. Yeah, <laughs> man. I just, you know, I, I had been through so much. And, you know, I'm, I'm like an open book. I When she opened up and let me talk to her, I was just talking her ears off. You know, and you, you know how when you get to talking to people, you tend to you tend to realize right then if you want to deal with them or not. But she, she stayed. <laughs> she stayed. I thought I would run off, but you know, because I mean, I'm not lying to you. I just wanted her to be my friend. I didn't know that it was gonna you know turn into something more than what it was. But see, I know how the type of person I am. You get hooked on to me, it's just hard to uh, unlatch. You know. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, but I mean we we both love hard. We yeah. both love hard. We do. And see I didn't know that. I yeah. she is so affectionate. I promise. She is so affectionate. I mean when she just all oh, when she be right here. She <laughs> she, <laughs> she think it get on my nerves. She don't understand. I ain't had people in my face like that. I ain't had people to hug on me like that. Not not just to, just to be hugging me, just to be hugging me. Mm. No, I ain't had that before. So yeah, I'll take all that in. Bring, bring that ass here, yeah, girl. Yeah, because I remember uh, <laughs> yeah. I get right here. Yeah. And I start right here, right here. Mm-hmm. When, when she hey, when she sleep, y'all, let me tell y'all, when she sleep, her face, she sleep right here. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. It's me. Tell the truth. It was the bow. Hell no, I ain't like that bow. Really, Gigi? I ain't like that bow. Gigi. I, look, y'all. I said you really had to hell? bring up the bow, Gigi. I saw that bow. I said, what the hell? Don't judge me, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? She got that. I that was in the past, Gigi. Man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I say, what the hell? She got in her head. Wait, first of first of all. Let me just say that when I met her, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, let me get cute and stuff and let me get over there. And, and the thing about it is that bow was, you know how you put them, it's to pull your hair back uh, when you put on makeup and stuff. Hey, Nelly's girlfriend sent me that bow. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, I wasn't, and you know what? And I had had it on all day. I was cleaning the house and I remembered I was, when she called me and she said that she was here. 
She's like, I'm here. You can come meet me. And I'm like, sure. She said, I just came. She said, you compromised that boat. Yeah. <laughs> but look, y'all, when she, upstairs, when she drove up and then she got out, they go, hey. I said, what the hell? She got on her head. I was like, I was tripping. I was. Apparently, you forgot all about that bow. So I, she I couldn't stare. And you, well, I couldn't say you were you so beautiful, but okay, it, you forgot about it was that. hard to just look at all really this DC? all this beauty in this. It was hard really? to look at that. <laughs> she told Mickey Mouse. Really? I didn't initially, I'm telling you. I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, okay, Lord. All right. <laughs> That's all I can say. You know. <sighs> Y'all oh, stop man. instigating. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but I I was just grateful to just have mm -hmm. a real, true friend <laughs> that that didn't have no expectations, that didn't see my thoughts, didn't see my failed relationships, that didn't see you know I ain't had no friends, I didn't have, you know, and then when getting involved with one another and and telling different stories and then for her to see it. You know, and, and she questioned, she'd be like, wow, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Especially when we went out to a restaurant and I seen people that I knew and she saw people just walk by me, didn't speak to me. And I said, yeah, yeah, this is what I deal with. This, you know, because I'm, you know. And it's not like I didn't believe her. It's just to, to actually see it, it um, occur. Because you would think, okay, well, that person has somebody with them. I'm going to go ahead. You know how some people like to be fake and they'll just go ahead and speak anyway. But to actually see it unfold right before me actually hurt me. Yeah. It really upset me because I'm like, wow, yeah. really? Yeah. You know? So and then later and it, on, it's not like I was downing, you know, no, people. No, no. I, you wasn't. I was just showing you how they treat me. Right, right. Not saying they're bad people, not saying I'm a bad, a bad person. It's just because yeah, of my, yeah, yeah. My, my, my lifestyle mm -hmm. and how. They, you know, they they like this, mm -hmm. you know. But they they'll say, but let us go out, go to the swing out club. I, hey, I got along with everybody. I danced with everybody. But if we was, if I saw that same person in church the next day, that person would not speak to me. And they had just left the club with me two, three hours ago, and wouldn't say good morning. I was like, all right, okay. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, so <sighs> when I when I seen it, I was just like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, ain't no words, but. Hmm. But I'm just glad that the stuff that I discussed with you, you know, and and you saw it come to pass. You saw some stuff. I'm just glad it didn't run you off. Mm -mm. You know, that's mm -mm. that's all. You know, and I'm, and you know, mm -hmm. I, I had been used to it, and then baby say that's not good. That's the first lesson she taught me when, when you know, getting involved. And I said, well, I'm used to it. It's, that's fine. She would say, Nah, if you're used to it, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be used to being treated, being you, mistreated. Yeah, yeah, or talked a certain way, yeah, talked down on or anything like that. You used to that. That's not good. Yeah, and see, that was that. You know, and that's what I say. She teaches me different things and break me out of certain, you know, bondage that I, I held myself in trying to appease people. You know, um, I'm at the stage where now if you ain't happy with me, then you just ain't happy with me. Yeah, you got you comfortable, know? not good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because all I wanted was somebody to just, you know, be my friend and get mm -hmm. along with me and, and everybody kumbaya, you know. So, um... Hey, I'm good though. <laughs> yeah, boom. boom. <laughs> my baby. Yeah. So. And got to hang out with a couple of my friends this weekend, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was so excited. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you talk about last Thanksgiving about the roach thing they with Man. the <laughs> When you said you got some roaches, you need to go see. <laughs> they were supposed to be in thank for that uh, day. Come around here with that foolishness and think <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nothing to them. Yeah, we're not having that this Thanksgiving. Yeah. We hope we we'll hope everybody, you know, are thankful yeah. and enjoy their Thanksgiving with their loved ones or, you know, whoever they're with, you know. Yeah. And um 
God sends people in our lives for different reasons. I, you know what? I believe that, Tina. I, you know, I, I really truly believe that. I'm just glad that, you know, I'm not where I used to be. You know, when people see me, I like that they see the change in me. I like that they see the new version of me and not the old version that they used to. You know, um, I love it. I love it. I just hate that it took me so long to get here. But it's okay. You're here. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. So, and, um, you yeah. ain't going nowhere. Yeah, You're you, here. You better say it. Give me some of that. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. that was a funny video. I'm I, you right, Davina. Davina said that was, but I wasn't trying to be funny. You were just back there cracking up. I was up. trying to sleep, and she's like, "Baby, wake up!" Yeah, you were just sleep with me. <laughs> that was messing with me. That was yeah. funny. Yeah, that was now, funny. now the, the, to tell you the truth, the only thing that really bothers me now is family that I was raised with and knew as family. I don't know how to take them. Because, you know, you know, once was a cousin, that's a cousin, that's a cousin, that's a cousin. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, damn, is it my cousin? You know, can I say they still my cousin? You know, I don't know because, you, you know, um, like I, after being excluded, I still see people as my family, mm -hmm. but being excluded and being reminded that I'm not family, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so now when I see him, I'm like, damn, what well, can I say that's my cousin, you know? Like, like sometimes I'll say that's my cousin, you would say, well, how? <laughs> and then I have to say, well, so-and-so, well, so-and-so, okay, no, that's not your cousin. You know? And I'm like, oh, man, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just be wanting to know. Yeah, so I have to explain it. You know, oh, it's not your real cousin, like not your cousin, cousin. You know, like I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I'm like, hey, that's the only part I'm having to start over because I want to be accepted by the family that accepts me as family. Mm -hmm. That I guess that's what I mean. Well. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get, I guess. I don't want to say I'm related to somebody that don't consider me being a relative. I want to be, if, if I'm the cousin, I want them to say that I'm cousin and be proud to say I'm cousin. Right, right. You know? I get that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. And to me, just even if I was on a receiving end, I'd be like, you know what? Okay, I can accept that. You know, right. um, I, it's understood if you just yeah, take gender out of it. Yeah, she knows they treat them accordingly. Yeah. I said, yes, ma'am. I understand, DC. <laughs> <laughs> but, Shanae, you know what? I've been saying that to her. And she used to say, what does that mean? Remember, I used yeah, to say, I said, I didn't understand. That's I, another I, thing she taught me. I used to say, oh, I know so and so, and I treat them accordingly. And she used to say, what What's does that mean? I'm it's not, like it's not a negative. I treat a person according to how you make me feel and how you treat me. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, you know, some people, you know, like uh, like how I was saying the other girl, the other day, the uh, old girl, I can tell she don't play. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. I know yeah. how to treat her accordingly because she don't play. Yeah, she so don't I play. I wouldn't go there with her. Yeah. You see what I'm but saying? But she cool, though. Oh, yeah. She's, she cool yeah. in the fan, but she can laugh with you. Right. She can be serious with you. But then she must be Capricorn. <laughs> no, she Capricorn? She, she a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get along with Taurus. Yeah, so. she a Taurus. But but you see her sister just her sister just point just point yeah. all the way across the board. But that other one, yeah yeah yeah, you you gonna have that line right there. <laughs> oh man. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, you, I just had fun. I'm glad you had fun too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah team Taurus. Yeah, Wait, I get along with. I forget you a Taurus too. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm December twenty sixth. Yes. What you put out is what you get back. Yeah. Well, I didn't always get that back. I ain't always get that back. Uh, that and she definitely can say that what she put out, she did not get back. Yeah. Uh, what you mean, Swing? How did you feel when Miss J cried because she didn't want to leave? In the beginning, I just got I, I got my clothes and went with them. <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, she went in and packed her bags and, and said, I'm, "Okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go." Yeah, and been like that ever since. <laughs> yeah. So, 
So it, yeah. it's just, you know, she teaches me a, a lot of things. Are y'all ever, what'd you say? Are y'all ever doing a meet and greet? You know, we have, and we've been talking about doing a, doing another one. Mm-hmm. It's just, we're going to like really take our time with you this. You have to figure one. out like where yeah. and because I, I said ATL. I said ATL. Baby said she tired of going to ATL. <laughs> <laughs> she said, we got to go somewhere else. I love ATL. <laughs> so but, it's, it's a matter of what, what, like Baby said, what's the common, you know, uh, location for yeah. people uh, when yeah. and, you know, the venue and, yeah. you know, because we don't want to, we don't. Mm. What? No, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. You say me too. What you mean me too? (laughs) But, you know, so I told her, I say, I said, yeah, the common ground would either be ATL, uh, Houston, um, but I said Florida. I I said Florida. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um. But yeah, she said the logistics of it. Oh, yeah. How long? Definitely have. Or uh, need to consider things, things to do in places. places yeah. Host, yeah. Right. And that's the whole thing is like, I mean. Oh, you love JT. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, you got to take all that into consideration, you know, and if, you, if you're flying, if you're driving, you know, yeah. all that. So we, we, we kind of been tossing around some, some, just some ideas amongst each other. Yeah. But we're definitely talking about it. We're definitely talking about it. So that's in that's in the making. So Washington DC, it's cold up there right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't know nobody in Maryland. I don't know nobody in Maryland. But see we we wanna have it like like we said, like once we announce that we wanna have something, mm-hmm. we probably will decide like between like Maybe said like maybe two places, right? And see what the majority, like of the majority of the people, right. live nearby. That's right. close, you know, you know, yeah. by to see if you know people will come out. But we don't want to do this, and, and then, then nobody shows you know, up. Three people or five people show up. You know, you say whenever y'all decide to make sure it's security on deck, you already know. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Shanae, what? <laughs> she she been in my head before. <laughs> Exactly where you're gonna be stationed. What state you're gonna be stationed? Because right now you're in Tennessee, right? Um, it's just a place where all happenings and we'll welcome you with open hands. Ah, uh, yeah. We've been there several times. Though. Yeah, but I love ATL. You know, um, <laughs> I, I, why don't you like going to ATL? You you say the 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 different surroundings, like. Well, they, I've already been raised in Georgia before. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I mean, even though things have changed over the years, but it's not a it's big right deal okay. to me. I okay. just, I don't know. It's just, we've already been like four times. It's, <laughs> I'm like, can we do something else? Ain't no, ain't no more sights then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but where you going? And I know you said, you know, y'all were talking about prioritizing this morning and you said, yeah, we're going to be. Like to get to, I was trying to figure out exactly what state are y'all gonna be in. That's what I was asking. Um, and then I'm wondering if people want us to do the meet and greet, but are y'all willing to travel? You know, uh, you know. So, um, are you willing? Are you willing to travel? Mm-hmm. You know, um, outside of Memphis. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's it's a lot. It's a lot. And Miss J want to go somewhere different. <laughs> Miss J want to go on a cruise. That's what Miss J want. You know? I want to go. I want to go on a cruise. I want to go to Hawaii and yeah. I want to go to Florida. Well, I got you. I got you, Florida. I got you, Florida. So yeah. So I got you, Florida. But I got you, Florida. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm burping internally. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. we got a couple of things. Do a meet and greet on a cruise. You've done two of the three. Oh no, can't do no meet and greet on a cruise. You can't get away from anybody on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away from anybody on a cruise. Yeah. 
Hi, Glory, Gloria. Best port to leave out of is Tampa. Since you went away. Okay. I think. Yeah. I think I left out of Miami before. Yeah. So. I've traveled around the world but never cruised, but it's on my bucket list. So okay. you've been to Hawaii? I want to go to Hawaii. You've been to Hawaii? Okay. I want to go to Hawaii. That's that's our next. Either Florida, either Florida or Hawaii. That's about... Florida might be before Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a swing on me throwing people in the wall. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> this big ham right there. Yeah. <laughs> Cabo San Lucas. What's that? Let's do. What's that? Mexico? <laughs> That's Mexico. Islands. Come to Florida. Yeah, yeah several times because my, my son's stationed, stationed there, there for four years. years. Oh, okay. 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 Well, shoot. Yeah, we trying. We trying to. We trying to get to Hawaii for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's 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 one thing that we both can agree on is yes, Hawaii, Hawaii and Florida. Yeah. The cruise thing, we still kind of, you know, because baby don't, baby just baby's gonna do it because I asked her to, but I don't want her to yeah. do it because I asked her to do it. No, I'll do, I'll do it for you, baby. Mm -mm. Oh, because then you're not enjoying yourself. I want you to do it because that's something that you want to do, not because I asked you. But you want to go on the cruise. I do, but not not by the means of you just settling because you because I want to do it. No. But you always do what I want to do, so I want to sacrifice and compromise and do what you want to do. <laughs> it's called compromise. It is. And sacrificing. But not on my cruise, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But you know what I want to do? Well, I want to do I want to do that cruise, but I want to do it not next year, the year after, because it's... What? it's Which one? Hopefully, they'll do the same cruise. The, remember who's going to do it? Remember who's going to do that, one, that celebrity one? Yeah, right. With all the old Yeah, because my, now my best to decide to get married when... <laughs> When the cruise is happening. So we, we, we couldn't do that one, so maybe we can catch another one. Yeah, you said you would definitely love Hawaii. I love it. No matter what time of year it is, always beautiful. Yeah, New York Times Square. <laughs> Look, New York Times. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait. New York Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got to say. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, what you say? Oh, uh, how can I win back the love of life of my life? I miss I messed up bad. I wasn't listening until it was too late. Um, that you answer that one. I, I can't <laughs> answer that one. I mean, well, is it something that you can come back from? Would be the first question. Is it something that you can come back from? Because you know, sometimes we do stuff and it's something there's no coming back really from it. But is it something that you can come back from? If so, then I would, you know, have the discussion with, you know, your ex mm -hmm. and uh, just start off as you have to start back from ground zero, you know, mm -hmm. start back off as friends and let it more, you know, prove yourself and work your way up. And That's set boundaries. Yes. And set boundaries. Yeah. You say February 25th, 2023 is the next one. I thought you said it was in May. The next one for what? For the celebrity one. Yeah. This is a different cruise I'm talking about. I don't know which one she's talking about. The one I'm talking about was in May. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, sad boundaries. Yeah, New Swing, New Orleans. I've been in, I've gone to New Orleans once a week at work. New Orleans, trust me. <laughs> ain't nothing, ain't nothing good. No, no, they excite me going there, but a bunch of traffic. Um. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah, that's that. I, I just want to say I love you both and love you. You're both happy each other. Thank you, Denise Moore. Appreciate you. Yeah, I can't wait till Friday. Um, I ain't rushing it because that, that just take away from my vacation. But you know, I'm enjoying my vacation. I got my I got my projects done. Tell me, you I did. My, I got my projects Good done. Good job, baby. Yeah. Look, she got her projects done this morning. She's like this. Oh, so I can't so move. so. 
Baby. <laughs> but because I, 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 I am. Baby, I am. Baby, 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 push me push over. Push me over. Let me roll up out of bed. <laughs> and I have to push it. Push me, baby. Push me. I was so, so, so. But I was putting some stuff together. But good job. Down. Good job. What's going on? Real classy. Hey, What's real classy. Classy. <laughs> but you did. You got it. You got it done. Yeah. You did. Hey. Within timely manner and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. um. I didn't bother her. I allow her to do her. I so got it done. She did. She did. She, yeah. she did that. So. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah. Good job. Can I do a tic tac and put it on tic tac? No. I was going with this. I kept saying, I said, you know, it was a time that I wanted this and I couldn't. And then I said, I remember when I had this. And, but it, it it wasn't to my liking. I say, but the Bible say, if you're a good steward over little, he'll give you much. And she say, I got it. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I put it in the scripture. Because I was like, I remember when I, I, I said, nah. I said, I, I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No Let me see, I replaced two light switches. I'm proud of myself. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. man. It's okay. Yeah. You said. <laughs> that's a lot. She don't understand that. What? <laughs> Replacing light switches. I, but I've done that. That's before. a lot. I've, I've even replaced the, uh, the, um, uh, the, um, what do you call it? What? The, um, the 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 knobs the door knobs on the the, the, the doors. doors and stuff. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. I'm proud of myself. But uh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and baby got up this morning and say, "Look at you enjoying the fruits of your life." Yeah, she laying up. In, <laughs> she laying up in bed like this. She was like. <laughs> She enjoyed a piece of your neighbor. She's like, you see me, huh? Oh, like, yeah. Here I am bringing her breakfast in bed. And she's just sitting back like this. Yeah. Oh. And she, she's like, you see me, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we just say, let's like just say, just, uh, just knock the power out the streets, no, knock the whole house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta turn off the uh the electricity in order to do that. It's say uh, first you don't mess with electricity. Yeah, so I do not mess with electricity. Whew. But anyway, y'all, we gotta get out of here. I didn't take my detox medicine. <laughs>